So it was during my marathoning when I would see men run past us women while we're standing in port can lines wasting time and they'd run past us and go behind a tree or a car and then get back on the course and I think oh that's so unfair you know we're losing time on our on the finish clock that we've trained so hard to finish quickly and now we're wasting time I thought we need to be able to do that Welcome to the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast, inspiring real women with a passion for fishing in the outdoors to go get their adventure on. Now, here's your host, coming to you from the Lance Chuck Camper Mobile Podcast Studio, Master Captain Angie Scott. Hey everyone, welcome to another empowering episode of the Woman Angler and Adventure Podcast. Getting a little inspired by Mel Robbins. I don't know if you guys listen to Mel Robbins' podcast. If you don't, you're looking to improve your life, I definitely recommend checking out her show. Uh, It's uh, one of the top rated podcasts and she just launched it not long ago. So she's doing amazing things, but I always enjoy the intros to her podcast. So uh, I thought I could maybe uh, use a little bit of her inspiration on the woman angler and adventure. But uh, this is an empowering episode of the podcast because this week I'm featuring a lady who has uh, identified a problem that we've all faced. We've talked about it on the show before. Uh, We're women. How do we easily go to the bathroom when we're in the middle of our outdoor adventures, be it hiking, camping, fishing, um, kayaking, all sorts of different applications that we find ourselves in where we don't have the uh, easy ability like our male counterparts do. And so Debbie uh, herself being a hiker and a marathoner and uh, just all around outdoor adventure identified uh, the issue and uh, came up with an invention and she's going to tell you all about it on this week's episode. So Debbie Mercer is founder and CEO of Zippers and uh, she's going to give us a little bit of the background on how this came to be and also a little bit on the design uh, that she worked with uh, a lady named Monica. She's going to tell us a little bit about that as well. But I think you're really going to enjoy the story behind it. And uh, if you haven't already checked out this product, uh, you might be inspired to go check it out by the end of the episode as well. So uh, either way, I know you're going to feel empowered and inspired by what Debbie has done. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm so honored and so excited to be um, a part of this podcast. Uh, My name is Debbie Mercer, and um, I am the founder of Zippers, which is a line of women's athletic pants that have a zipper that unzips from the front to the back. So a woman can, um, just going to say it, a woman can pee outdoors without having to pull down her pants. She doesn't have to show onlookers her bottom or be in the environment. She can even go into like a porta can or a public restroom and unzip and not touch the toilet seat. Mm. And um, I originally came up with this idea because I was a marathoner. I still run half marathons, but wow. don't really do bulls anymore. But I was a marathoner and was part of a national organization called USA Fit, which, by the way, I now also own. Nice. But um, I did that. But I fell in love with hiking a few years ago. And so it was during my marathoning when I would see men run past us women while we're standing in port can lines wasting time and they'd run past us and go behind a tree or a car and then get back on the course. And I think, oh, that's so unfair. <laughs> you know, we're losing time on our on the finish clock that we've trained so hard to finish quickly. And now we're wasting time. I thought we need to be able to do that. And so I just kind of, you know, shelved it and didn't think too much about it again. But then when I was hiking the Grand Canyon with a bunch of my friends, my one of my friends um, had to pull down her shorts at the bottom of the canyon. And there aren't really, there's not much shade. There's not much coverage. And we were with Nick's company and the guys are going, oh, we saw Teresa's bum that night. And I said, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to come back. So, uh, so that's what happened. So that was in 2000 and 
started working on it in 2017. My um, apparel designer designs costumes for uh, international and domestic ballets. She is very, very adamant about making sure these pants fit a woman's body. Yes. And they're not just a men's pant that's been cut down smaller. And she's always said, I want these to be functional, but I also want them to be flattering. And so she and I started working together. So we launched at the end of 2019. And then, of course, we, you know, had the challenges of the pandemic. And, um, but, um, our customers now range from hikers and runners and campers and climbers. But what was really interesting is I just didn't really think about anglers at the time because I'm the, I don't fish, you know. But a customer found us and emailed us and said, oh, my gosh, I need these. I'm, I'm in a fishing tournament. I have to have these. And I said, let me send you a free pair. Try them out. And we do this a lot for, for, you know, new customers that are trying them in different kind of environments that we haven't had experience with. And mm -hmm. so we, you know, we sent it to her, we sent her a pair and she ended up loving them and has now used, <laughs> used them in several of her tournaments and had <laughs> bought more and, and, you know, and have shared it with her friends. And, um, you know, she just says the convenience of being able to have, you know, like um, a pot or something on the, on the boat and to be able to zip and nobody knowing what you're doing right. was game changer for her. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a big issue for us anglers, um, especially tournament anglers, because um, some tournaments actually don't allow the anglers to get actually to get off the boat. I'm sure they would mm. you know, make an exception if there's some kind of emergency. Um, but in general, um, you know, just go going to shore and using the bathroom isn't really an option. And so uh, what a lot of ladies do for solution is um, yeah, a lot of them just dehydrate themselves. Oh, like, and that's terrible. not a good, you know, not a no. good thing to do to your body. Um, but others, you know, that's just, you gotta just, you know, pull down your pants and go off the side of the boat if that's what you gotta do. And, uh. and, uh, you know, a lot of these lakes we fish, you know, there's not really private places you can go or there's other people that are fishing around you. And so you just have to kind of be OK with showing in the world everything. <laughs> and um, yeah, so this yeah. this is uh, a, an excellent solution to that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to get me some because my first, uh, my first tournament this year was actually the first time I, I had been doing the dehydrate method that I mentioned <laughs> where I just don't drink anything until the tournament's over and, uh, or very, very little anyways. And, um, and this, this, I've been hydrating myself a lot more here lately, like really trying to get my water intake in every day. Uh -huh. And so leading up to the tournament, I'm like, well, I'm not just going to stop that, you know, now my body's used to it. So, um, I still continue to hydrate as I normally did. And yeah, by about, I don't know what time it was, maybe 11 o'clock. I was like, I have got to go to the bathroom. And, oh, my <laughs> and luckily where the lake I was fishing, we were actually in a, in a the creek area that had like nothing there was no one around so i wasn't too worried about it but that's not always the case so. um, <laughs> well and you know and i just i had being hydrated just pounded into me when i started training for marathons because that's like that that is something that you have you have yeah. to be hydrated when you're out there and i'm i was a slow runner and i'm still a slow runner so i you know for a marathon i'd be out there for five hours and you know you deplete that water and it's very dangerous and i and i've heard a lot of women that of our customers have said exactly what you've said i'll go on these hikes and i'm going to be with all these men and stuff and i i don't want to have to pee there i'm not going to drink any water and it's really so so dangerous a woman the other day actually also told me that she got a UTI mm. when she was, you know, because she just wasn't pink. So it makes me happy that these are actually not only convenient for women uh, and protect, but also protects their health, which makes right. me really, really happy. Yes. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Um, and so you also, um, I'm, I'm on the website here, you know, and you mentioned hiking, um, paddling, like kayaking, um, fishing, of course, we touched on running, um, but hunting as well. That's that's another um, sport that a lot of women are really getting 
getting into, um, you know, going out on these long hunts and you're, you're out in the, the elements and everything else. So it also makes it easy that, you know, if you, you've got a lot of gear on, you know, all you have to do is, is unzip and go. <laughs> exactly. You don't have to take any of that gear off, which is really is, is, is nice. And I, I wanted to uh, just touch briefly on uh, how comfortable the zipper is. Cause mm-hmm. you know, People are like, women are like, oh, my God, I can just imagine that zipper right there. But we spent about a year finding the right fabric that sits between the zipper and the woman's skin. And it, the zipper never touches your skin. We have, you know, we have women, like I said, that are sitting in kayaks and, and boats and on planes and for hours and hours and don't even realize that the zipper is there. Mm-hmm. Very, very comfortable. And we're about to release... Our adaptive line for women that are wheelchair dependent. Yeah. And this came from just like the woman that, that, that reached out to us about being in a kayak for hours and hours in a race. We had occupational therapists reach out to us and said, oh, my gosh, I, we need these for our patients, our caregivers. It's so hard to take care of the medical needs when you have to pull their pants up and down when they're sitting in a wheelchair. So we went through a lot of modifications and we're going to be releasing that this year as well very cool that's that's incredible i mean that's something that you i I wouldn't have thought of so no i know very very cool and we just really love listening to to women and get their ideas and their feedback we take them we take their feedback very seriously and we really think about well you know maybe we can implement that you know maybe we can try that yeah yeah. Um, talk a little bit more about, you mentioned, you know, it's super important to you that the the sizing and everything fits women. That's not an easy thing to do because women have so many different body shapes and sizes. And how did you kind of go about that to make sure that you were going to have options that would work well for, for all the different body types? Right. Well, it, it helped to have our apparel designer who's used to fitting, um, fitting dancers, although most dancers are, are pretty thin, but <laughs> my apparel designer has, you know, she has like a, a more athletic body. So she knows the, she knows the challenges of having different body types and we would make samples and then we would take these samples of the different sizes and we would have different women try them on. And knowing that we can't match every single person's body, we would at least try to get it as close to fitting most sizes as possible. And we offer exchanges, free exchanges, you know, free, free shipping, free exchanges. And there's times we either I'm on the phone with a customer or Monica, Monica Guerrera is the designer. She's on the phone with them and just helping them decide what size is best, you know, and uh, we want our customers to be happy. We want them to love them. Yeah. (laughs) Absolutely. Well, you have several different options available. So you know, you've got more of a a tactical kind of style pant to um, like what do you call them? Yoga pants? I don't know if that's what the we well, call them yoga pants, right? But but women they they fish in them, they hike yeah. in them, they climb in them. The the capris and the tights. It's just not limited to just yoga, but yoga is good too. If you're in a hot yoga, yeah, but you don't want to have to pull those things down if you have to go to the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Really. That's a good point too. If you're all hot and sweaty and then you <laughs> pull your pants exactly. down, it's hard to get them back up sometimes. <laughs> exactly. Very cool. So the website is zippers. So Z I P H E R S dot com. And I will put a link to that in the show notes for this episode. Um, so anyone interested, I highly recommend you go check them out. They they do look very, very comfortable. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share with with your listeners. Yeah, absolutely. And um, anything else coming up that you want to mention other than the uh, adaptive line? Um, we are looking at um, we we. We released the white tights based on somebody in a kayak that said we'd like some UPF fabric and we weren't pleased with the fabric once we got it. So we are looking at maybe doing another round of those. We're looking at um, hiking pants that uh, unzip so that they turn into shorts, you Mm, know. Yeah, those would be great. 
yeah, it's just, uh, you know, it's just a process, but we, we want to keep producing and giving products that women love awesome. and empower them. Love it. Love it. Um, great invention. Great design. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for coming on the show and uh, sharing about it. And I look forward to hearing listener feedback as well. Um, you know, we this is a, a topic that has come up on the show before. So here's a great solution for you, ladies. Uh, go check it out. Zippers.com. Right. And they can just they can email us or call us and we're happy to answer any questions that they may have.